Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to fix and remove SMD components in our mobile phone. We can remove and fix some components in our phone. There are few processes so that we are going to see about that process. For example, many will check the track so while checking the track the components may get fault. At that time many may never notice about that. They would have verified about that but while soldering it may result in failure. They may cut the track by using the tweezer or anything else. While doing that if it is a major component the track may cut and will result in failure. We should remove it carefully if so we cannot fix it again accordingly. So what are called as components they are resistors capacitors, transistors and so on. The DC which are here, many will, will use soldering process and heating it may, during the heating process it may melt and it will be easy for us to remove it. If it takes time we can fix nozzle according to it and can use SMD rework station for removing it. So the air should be in the minimum level and heat should be within the 300. So the minimum level of air will be 1 so fix that accordingly. So this should not be melted thoroughly if so we cannot fix it again accordingly to the mark given over there. This DCs which are here, many will use the soldering process. The soldering process will be easy but while heating it, it may melt. So I have fixed it in the air in the minimum 1 and heat in 300. Heat near the components, wait until it melts and then remove it using the tweezer. So now I have removed it. I have taken a capacitor. If you are taking an IC, there will be a mark in the board for IC. I am going to remove the IC now. Why they have given a mark as to? Because while taking the IC, you should keep it as it is. How you take it and you should fix it in that same position. If you change the position, then the pins if you in your board will be changed and the mobile will not power on. There will be a white dot or arrow mark in both the IC and the board. Using that you can remove it and also you can fix it again. You can use the paste for fixing and removing so that the track line will not get cut. Don't apply too much. Apply the paste lightly. Heat it and now I am going to remove the IC. Do it gently and slowly. You could be able to see a white mark. It is the mark where you should fix your IC in the correct position. When you observe in your IC, you could able to see the mark there for fixing it in. So you should fix it in the right position according to the mark given over there. Again I am fixing the IC. So this is the IC, so I am going to fix it again. You should only use the tweezer for this process. You should not use a knife or anything else for this. If so, the components may get damaged. The track line may get damaged and you cannot fix it again. And if it fix it also, the mobile will be in a dead condition. Before fixing the IC, check whether the IC got melted. Do it gently and slowly. I am fixing the IC. Focus on the IC and fix. Fix it correctly without any cross. 
this process much me must be there for all the things like transistors resistors and so on i am fixing the capacitor which i have removed so i have fixed the components also so i am heating it and i am fixing the components so this process must be there in all the things for while removing and fixing the track line may get damaged if you heat much or if you don't use a tweezer if it vents useless then the mobile will be in a dead condition so i am fixing it again again according to the mark given over there you should heat it very gently you should not produce much heat while doing this process if so the components may get melted and may get damaged also so that's it we have done So hope you all have liked this video like share comment and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching